We're just like the mail, baby. All we do here is send it. I'd definitely say we can see some metal strands hanging out of it. That dude with the glitter in there. You can see it. I'm pulling metal out of it. Ooh. Why is it like that? Oh. I don't know, maybe it's just the type of food I put in there. Definitely seems a little thick. There's gold in there. Ooh, there goes some chunks. Oh, I keep missing it on camera. There you go. That looks funny. Dude, this is some thick stuff. Like some real thick stuff. Probably gonna let this drain for a while. I mean, I don't have a... I was gonna run a jam nut to my... Oh my god, look at all those spider eggs. I'm gonna run a, like, how... I'm just... Because I'm leaving like in a month for the army anyway so I'm not even gonna worry about getting another axle I'm just gonna put the axle in with the bolt and then run a jam nut so the bolt doesn't back out or whatever it, it wouldn't because it's backed against the other axle I don't got the other axle in I just got everything back together all I do is take the cap off and slide it in but yeah just maintenance oh well I'm starting fabrication for the aluminum charge pipe. Um, does it even look like three? I don't know if it's uh, probably three. But it came with some couplers, and then the day I um, went to go find clamps for this thing for the rubber parts for just here, I drove to I drove probably 20 miles one way. So 40 miles round trip. I probably did that four times in one day just to get get the right clamps get in, and at a store that had them. And figures, I, I usually always open my boxes to make sure what I got is what I want. And I probably got this. Dude, I probably got this before the car even ran. And um, I never opened it. Figures, I just opened it. It came with like 1,800 million clamps that are the right size. So, oh, well, I already spent the money like 70 bucks in clamps but yeah i'm gonna start making the aluminum because uh went through another one of these where at right there i probably hit the throttle the most i've ever hit it maybe 65 percent it wasn't data logging because my computer died and um made like 21 pounds of boost 20 21 and then uh it, it held, but then when I tried to get on it again for a second time, it already weakened it so much that it exploded at like seven pounds of boost. So what can you do? I'm going to start the aluminum, and then I'm also, I got a four-port Mac valve that I'm going to put somewhere and get my boost controller set up. If they're on the same pallet and there's material issue, it could be something. Thank <laughs> you.
no trans. To see how, if the flex plate wobbles to see if it's bent, because that's what I think caused it. It's gonna be loud. No, it's got no crossover pipe on it. time I'll upload for a while long time I don't know um, it's Saturday August let me look Saturday August, August yeah, Saturday August 20th um, I leave for the army Monday the 22nd so um, what happened there yeah I basic I, you know I'm not on my phone AIT I can't even be with the car and then when I'm assigned on a base, or depending on where I'm at, the car might even the car might not even come with me. So um, I don't know. Hopefully, I get put somewhere, maybe like Oklahoma, or I don't even know if there's a base in Oklahoma, Missouri, somewhere in the Carolinas, or and then um, I could bring the car with me. Or I don't know how this, I don't know how it work, I don't know how any of it works. I don't know if I could you know like buy a store or rent a storage space and store it off base and get a car I can have on or a truck I can have on base or something. But um, yeah, so they, so it's the twentieth or one week ago on Saturday, um, I was out racing on the street. I'll put I'll put look some little clips in, um, but uh, that converter I got after I blew up the first one. Well, I just blew up the second one, and uh, I was out on this guy. And I wasn't out by far. I mean, it was a real good race. The converter wobbled so bad because inside the... I don't know what happened, but it started to wobble and then it puked fluid out over the rear or under the rear tires. And so 50 bucks wasn't worth wrecking both of our cars. So yeah, um, now it's this Saturday. I got a, I actually got a last one was that here. converter when I shook it around there was stuff floating around in there. That one's from, I'm not going to say a name just cause they're more of a, like a everyday car. I don't know if they're much of a performance thing, but um, I put on Facebook, um, who can help me with a converter? Doug Chance from Neil Chance Converters, um, messaged me and said, yeah, they got, or, I talked to him, he said to call if they got any ones that came in on a, like a, um, exchange, yeah. And, um, so when I called him, um, another Doug answered, and he said, yeah, we just got one on an exchange, and then I gave him his specs, and then they cut it open, and that was, I called him Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I called them and um, I had I had the most expensive shipping because you know I, I go to the army Monday I need this car to at least move if it needs to be moved for my parents or whatever and I had it Friday well yeah I had it Friday but I was at a wedding yesterday uh, far south and um, I was gonna come home after the wedding like 10 p.m. drive home four hours get here at two and then throw it all in but i just was too tired there was no way i was I, I didn't even drive home i drove there on two hours of sleep was at a wedding that part i didn't party i just it was hot in that place um left around or left around or we got out of the wedding around nine i slept for maybe an hour hour and a half and so three hours of sleep in what 40 48 hours that was not enough for me to drive home so my girlfriend drove home she was fine i was a little scared i'm just kidding um but yeah now it's saturday i started about 10 it's like noon now so um not noon it's probably like two um i'm about to fire it up i just put um uh seven quarts of fluid in it and uh, put everything back together. I'm also going to do a little. Um, this is like a 3 ace barb. And then uh, there's that barb there. And then one on the other side. Well I got like. 3 um, <clears throat> ace hose. And then I got a uh, 3 ace Y. To run these two. two. 
and then I got 10 orb, two, three ace um, little fittings that I'm gonna put, finally put my catch can in, my Motion Race Works Cletus catch can in. Cause I mean, you can see this thing. It makes some oil pressure. It blew this apart. Um, you can see the kind of wet oil kind of spraying out of there. It chooches some, the rings are gapped pretty, pretty heavily. So it chooches some oil out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna fire it up and see if uh, this converter wobbles back and forth like the last one did. I thought the flex plate was broke or bent. It was so bad. So I have a new, I have a blueprint racing engines, but it was the wrong flex plate anyway. Luckily, I just looked over, looked over the old one and just put it back in. But yeah, the one I ordered is the wrong flex plate anyway. I think it's for a small, it's for, yeah, it's for a small block. It's not even for an LS. I just, my mistake. But um, yeah, we'll fire it up. Oh, I guarantee this thing freaking rips to life, dude, right away. This thing, this thing's most loyal, like, now I'm saying it might not start, but this thing's fucking loyal, like, all the time. What do we got? Fucking loyal. Something's tapping. 